So I'm, in, I'm here in um, Orlando for the uh, ASH 2019 meeting and uh, one of the features of this meeting has been the amount of data that's come out uh, on new drugs that are targeting BCMA on the surface of myeloma cells. So um, these are really interesting new, new drugs and there's three basic approaches. One where you use an antibody to deliver a, a toxin to, to the cell. Uh, one where you use an antibody to bring T cells to the myeloma cell. And the other way you use a engineered cellular product called a CAR T. And so like the really interesting thing is that all of these drugs look as if they're highly effective for myeloma. So the, we aren't really having much new data on the uh, GSK product that delivers the um, antibody toxin that's called Belantamab, but that will come out in the near future. The drugs that are using the, the bispecific drugs that bring the T cells are showing hugely high response rates in the order of 80 to 90 percent, which is really exciting in these populations. We don't know what the follow-up on those drugs will be, but we expect it to be good. And we're hearing more follow-up on the CAR T cell therapies. And so a lot of the kind of um, latest data on CAR Ts has come out. And we now know the response rates of 80 to 90% are kind of regular. And those response rates are turning into very prolonged survival of approximately eight to 12 months. Importantly, people are not being so impressed with that data as I think they, they should be. And I think the reason is because we used to think about this relapsed refractory disease phase as a place where new drugs could be developed. What has happened is the definition has changed and we're now talking about relapse and refractory where patients have already seen daratumumab. So this is a different group and it has a lot worse outcome. It's much more difficult to treat and a lot of these new agents are being evaluated in this population. So although the kind of results aren't as good as we expected, when you see it in the context of the population that's being treated, they're kind of transformational. And so I think it's just a, a message that this is a new population and it has a much worse outcome. And these new drugs, even in that population, are being highly effective. And I think it's enormously exciting for the future. Anybody that's trying to develop a drug in relapsed refractory now, CAR-T, bispecific, the cards are stacked against them. But what we know is if we look in slightly earlier populations, the results are spectacularly good. So what we're waiting for now is the kind of these drugs to be moved a bit further forward. So if you see it in the context of daratumumab, 30% response rate in a population that was, had a better outcome. And now we're seeing 80 to 90% response rates with what I would anticipate to be much better outcomes when you come to the upfront setting. So for once, I'm starting to see the potential of replacing stem cell transplantation with CAR T cell therapy or bispecific therapy. And I think that'll be transformational going forward.